Hello, everyone. Welcome back to English with Anna. Today, we are going to do some reading practice. Today, I have a story for you called Joan's Home. Joan's Home. Before we do the reading, I want to be sure to give credit to Marshall Adult Education. Marshall Adult Education created this story. So let's go ahead and read together. First, we have a pre-reading question. So pre-reading means before we read. So here we have a question. Who do you think lives in Joan's home? Who do you think lives in Joan's home? So this is Joan. Joan is the woman. Joan is the mother. And who do you think lives in Joan's home? Who do you think these people are? So we're not sure, we have to read the story, but we probably think maybe these are Joan's children. Maybe some of Joan's children in the picture. And here we have some definitions. Definitions means, what do the words mean? What do the words mean? So here we have two new words. Share, share. Share means to use or take part in together. Let me give an example. If, if we eat together with a group, we can say, I share a meal with my family. I share dinner with my family. It means we eat together. Or we share a house. My father and I share a house. It means we live in the house together. Team. Team. A group of people who work together. A group of people who work together. So in this picture, we might say, this family is a team. They work together in their home. Maybe they cook dinner together. They clean the house together. They talk together. They are a team of people. So now we're going to do the reading. I want you to go ahead and listen. Please listen first, and then later you can go back and watch the video again and try reading along with the video. So please listen first. Reading. Joan has a large family living in her home. Joan has six children. She has two girls and two boys. She also has two foster children. They are sisters. Joan lives in a big house. She needs a lot of space for her family. The house has four bedrooms. Joan has her own bedroom. Joan's sons share a bedroom. The girls sleep two in each room. The two bathrooms are busy in the morning. The kitchen is large. 
many people can be in it at the same time. This is a good thing. Each person has a task at mealtime. They work as a team. Joan and her oldest daughter cook and serve the meal. Some of the kids set the table. The other kids wash dishes when the meal is over. Joan's large family likes living together in their big house. All right, so I want you to maybe listen to the video a couple times. In our next video, we will try to answer some questions about the story. And we'll also talk a little more about what some of the words mean. So please stop, um, go back and listen to the reading one or two more times. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day.